What's up, internet? Back to school na tayo finally, and it's exciting na maka face to face na tayo. Pero baka kinakabahan ka that you or yung anak mo kailangan ng bagong computer kasi iba niya expectations sa iyo. High school ka na, first year college ka na, or kakapasok mo palang sa trabaho. We did do a guide video before on how to build a new computer for work or for school. Pero wag naman tayo bili lang ng bili ng bago. Sa video na to, this will be tips on how to optimize your old warhorse for your new work. Usually, you don't need to buy. Even old hardware will be sufficient for most school or work tasks. Yung unang tip, alam mo na, is to activate Windows. Lika dito, may sponsor kami na makakamura ka talaga kasi may discount code kami and trusted tong sponsor namin. Kami personally, for the shop, we've ordered more than 100 keys from them. Walang problema. So, if you're familiar with yung mga e-commerce sites, sobrang simple lang nito. You just need to sign up, create an account, they'll ask for your email, password, the usual things. Pro tip, wag ka na mag-subscribe, but you do need to agree to the terms. Pag may account ka na, yung Windows 10 Pro link nasa text description naman or masasearch mo naman dito sa search field nila. Pwede rin siya sa mobile. So, nandito ako sa mobile phone ko with the Windows 10 Pro key. Yung unang price niya is $22.21. Naka-discount na yun. Pero, pakita ko sa inyo para makakuha pa ng additional 25% discount. So, yung promotion code, yung halaga... Put in our code, HS20, tapos 22.21 pa rin yung price. Pero pag apply mo, be sure to click the apply, yung price from 22.21 naging $16.66 na lang. So pansinin mo, $22 yung initial price. Pag apply mo nung discount code, magiging $16 na lang siya. So nabawasan nung $5.55. And you submit order. Madami silang payment options. Megalink, PayPal, PayPal, Alipay. Uh, yung usual namin, PayPal. And then you click pay now. And then tuloy-tuloy na siya. Pagkatapos nun, lalabas yung CD key dun sa dashboard nila. Copy and paste mo lang yun. Punta sa Windows mo. Pasok mo yung key. Yun. Activated na yung Windows. No mas, no fuss. Hindi lang software si CD Key, meron din silang hardware products. Nag-team up sila with various brands for a back-to-school promo. Yung ibang brands, aminin ko, hindi ganun kasikat. Dare You, Autoful, Mouse Speed, Motor Speed, Life Smart. Although may isang brand dito na sikat sa atin, yung Edifier. A lot of people have requested that over the years. So at least isa dito, medyo sikat na brand sa atin. Although personally, nagamit ko na rin tong Dare You Mouse and so far so good quality naman siya. And at least useful yung promo kasi yung mga items, yung mga pangkaraniwan, yung kailangan mo talaga. You have mice, you have chairs, you have headsets, you have keyboards, may earphones. So parang yung software codes din nila, yung basic na kailangan mo to get started for work or for school. You'll need activated windows and you'll need basic peripherals. And of course, may discount code rin tayo para dito. Use discount code FER for a 15% discount. Alright, basic tips on how to optimize an old computer. Number one is to reformat Windows or even better, wipe everything and then install it again. Yung Windows kasi parang tao yan. Over time, tumatanda tayo, nagiging ulyanin, bumabagal yung performance. And this is a non-technical description, but it's basically what happens to Windows also. Yung accretion ng programs over time, yung links between programs, yung mga sinasurf mo, all of that eventually bogs down Windows. Hindi na siya kasing optimized as the day it was first installed. But unlike humans, sobrang dali lang to reset Windows. That's what we call a reformat or you're basically removing your old Windows installation and putting in a new one. And that's one option, but what I like to personally do is to wipe everything. Hindi lang reformat ng Windows, wipe all of the data from your drives. Back up the documents or the pictures or the videos or whatever data files you need, and then just nuke that drive. Wipe everything, reinstall Windows. Bonus tip, after you've reinstalled Windows, you're going to need to reinstall all of your old programs. 
There's a very simple program called Nine Night, which has all of the usual programs na gusto mo nang i-install doon. So, imbis na manually ka pupunta to different sites to get the EXE files for download, you can compile already a list from Nine Night, tapos isang file na lang siya. Isang file na yon, may install mo lahat ng mga usual programs na ginagamit mo. You'd be amazed at how fast your computer becomes after a simple reinstall. If you're tech savvy, you can do this on your own. We do do this in Hardware Sugar for a small fee if you want to do regular maintenance with us. Tip number two, if you don't want to reinstall Windows for whatever reason, actually to be honest, ganun din ako. Na sa stress ako na hassle na pag reinstall ng Windows, napapalitan kasi lahat ng customization features. So I tend to let that slide. But at the very least, consider uninstalling old programs that you don't use. Uninstalling old programs gives you more space on your drives. But again, it's also just about clearing the cobwebs. Parang spring cleaning yun for Windows. So mas lean na yung Windows mo. Perhaps there's an old program there that somehow kind of tinkered with Windows. Pag na-uninstall mo yun, hopefully mawawala yung issue. So if a reformat, if nuking your drives is not an option, at least consider going through the add remove programs, madali lang naman sa Windows, and uninstalling those that you don't use anymore. Third tip is to have different user accounts if a lot of people in the house are using the same computer. Pakita ko sa'yo. Yung maganda kasi dun, ma-customize mo talaga yung computer, like the basic things, what desktop icons appear, and what other settings you have. And if you have a lot of users, nakakalito yun na, Oh, dinigay ko tong file na to dito pero nawala na, parang ganun. So Windows actually allows you to have multiple users. Magsa-sign in ka sa user account mo and your settings will be saved there. It's super easy to get there. You just go to the Windows uh, start menu, start and then dito sa icon na to. So ito yung shop computer namin, currently si Hardware Sugar, pero may separate user account ako dito with my own personal settings and that's mine. Si 214, di ko alam kung sino yan. <laughs> to be honest. But it's super easy to add somebody. So, nandito tayo. Just go to change account settings. Um, and then, nandito siya sa family and other users. And nandito, add a family member. So, yung maganda dito sa create your own user accounts, ayun nga, sa save yung customization of each user. Personally, kasi when I get to my computer, I like knowing things are in the proper place. Nandito yung files ko, ito yung wallpaper ko. Mas nakakaingan yung magtrabaho kasi orderly na yung mind mo. Yung order na ini-expect mo, naka-structure na din yung computer mo. And to be honest, I find it very difficult to work on somebody else's computer. Kasi, yun nga, the settings are supposed to help you become productive right away. Pero kung wala yung settings na yun, parang na ano ako eh, parang nadyajar yung mental processes ko. And it takes me a little while to adapt again. So, for a lot of users on one computer, the UAC or user account control is super useful in Windows. Fourth tip, have a folder structure in place for major projects. Uso kasi ngayon sa kabataan na uh, kung saan-saan na lang nagda-download, kung saan-saan iniiwan yung files. Since they trust na masasearch naman nila yun, mahanap naman ng computer yung files. Yung problema, sobrang pangit ng search function ni Windows. For your peace of mind and productivity, Mas maganda talaga kung ikaw nagse-set sa nagse-save yung files and this also helps you organize your thoughts and it makes the work go faster because you're better able to integrate your sources and your data. So kanya-kanya yun on depending on the project, depending on how you work, but just as an example for myself, I do have a dedicated YouTube folder dito sa storage ko where I dump all of my YouTube data. Tapos may branching out folders from there. It's not rocket science. Everything here is related to YouTube. One important folder is clips. So these are clips that I commonly use in a lot of the videos or parang magandang go-to sila. So we have B-roll of monitors. We have some cuts from our previous videos, recordings of file transfers. Yung mga madalas gamitin or footage that I like using often. For example, itong three monitor setup namin for one build. I also keep an archive of some of our posted videos, tapos naka code yun by number. Also, the thumbnails that we've used, also coded by number. 
So, madaling hanapin yung information. When I want to go back to a particular video, kasi kasi I need footage from there, madali lang hanapin. And yung folder na projects, each individual video that I make has its own folder. Kasi dun ko linalagay yung specific files aside from the raw footage. It might also be graphics, might be animation, might be some clips that I'll only use for that video. Each video that I edit may sariling folder. Tapos hiwalay pa yon dun sa shorts, which have, which recently ginagawan ko na nung sariling folder. And temp is where I download most of the footage na hindi ko pa na sort. And audio has two further folders, yung music na ginagamit namin, pati yung sound effects. So your folder structure will vary depending on the project and how OC you are. Ito sobrang simplistic lang for me. But really, a dedicated folder structure will help you become a lot more productive. Wag umasa dun sa search function ni Windows. Yung hiling tip, baka naman gusto mo talaga mag-upgrade, may budget naman. And there are specific parts that you can buy na bang for your buck talaga. Sobrang value for money if you get a new part. And the one part that we recommend talaga kahit anong build, kahit anong budget, para kaming sirang plaka dito, is to get yourself an SSD. Especially if you're coming from the old hard drives, sobrang bilis ng SSD in comparison. We have multiple videos talking about ano ba yung pagkaiba ng different versions of the SSD, bakit siya mas bilis compared to a hard drive. But for this video, all you need to know is that an SSD is very, very fast. And we really recommend it para sa quality of life mo. Ibang iba talaga siya, sobrang bilis ng pagboot up ng Windows if you're used to an old hard drive compared to the speed of an SSD. So if your computer doesn't have one yet, you might really want to consider getting a SSD. It doesn't need to be the very fast one like your NVMe. Kahit yung SATA SSD, lakay na nung improvement sa speed over an old hard drive. The second type of bang for your buck upgrade is RAM. Actually, for gaming, may threshold. Usually, 16 gigabytes is good enough for gaming. Pero for mga productivity applications, the more RAM, the better. Kasi ang dami mong usually ginagawa. Nakabukas yung Excel mo, nakabukas yung Windows, nakabukas yung browser. Within that browser, you have 30, 50 tabs. Nakabukas yung email mo. When your computer is multitasking like that, a lot of RAM will make everything smoother. So if you only have 8 gigabytes of RAM, you might want to consider upgrading to 16 gigabytes. Or if you have 16 gigabytes, talon ka sa 32 gigabytes. It doesn't need to be fancy RAM. May RAM ngayon na may RGB or may ilaw, but walang kinalaman yung ilaw sa performance. You can get relatively affordable RAM na walang ilaw and you don't even need the fastest. Mas mahalaga yung size ng RAM. So if you're coming from 4 gigabytes of RAM, talon ka to 8, 8 to 16, 16 to 32. Again, we have previous videos talking about different RAM sizes. Pwede mo pag ipaghalo yung RAM size, yung RAM speed and all of those things. But bottom line is that bang for your buck upgrade talaga yung RAM, especially for productivity purposes. And finally, yung last upgrade na mare-recommend ko if you have the budget is to get yourself a monitor. Siguro kung may computer ka na, may monitor ka na. But having a secondary monitor or or having a larger monitor makes work so much easier to do. So this is a G7 Odyssey Samsung 32-inch curved. Medyo o okay itong monitor na to. Samsung medyo mahal talaga siya. You don't need to buy expensive for a secondary monitor. For secondary monitors, you can get whatever is available. Make sure your computer supports a secondary monitor. Sobrang laking quality of life improvement din yon for work. Imagine typing up your thesis on your primary monitor, tapos lilingon ka lang sa kanan mo, nandun yung secondary monitor mo, tapos lahat ng research mo nandun na. So it's easier to input it into your thesis. Or accountant ka, you're preparing a report with your primary screen, tapos on your secondary screen, nandun yung actual figures na sinasummarize mo, tinatabulate mo. Or you just want to go large, a larger monitor is a lot easier for productivity because you can have multiple windows on the screen. Medyo pricey lang talaga yung monitor kahit yung mga pinakamura. But if you're looking for a quality of life upgrade, aside from the SSD, aside from the RAM, Getting yourself a larger primary monitor or getting yourself a secondary monitor is really recommended. Yon, hope na katulong tong tips na to optimizing your old war horse for your new work or your new school. And congrats! It's nice that after two years, finally, you know, makakabalik tayo sa campus, makakabalik tayo sa office building. Nakakamis na rin yung 
classmates mo, yung office mates mo. But you know, with that new excitement, doesn't need to come the excitement of getting a new computer. Usually, kaya kaya pa nung old PC yung new work. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.